My name is Scott Tsai. I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Mechanical and Industrial Engineering, and I've been at Ryerson for a little less than two years. Um, uh, so the research that my lab does is in the area of fluid mechanics uh, of coating flows, and specifically we're coating very small objects inside uh, small channels, uh, which we call microfluidic channels. Uh, these are fluid channels where uh, inertia is very weak and viscosity is a strong effect. Um, and applications of what we're doing include uh, coating cells for immunoisolation, uh, for cell transplantation operations. So what we're working on here is particle and cell coating. So we're using microfluidic channels and magnetism to pass particles through fluid-fluid interfaces and conformally coat them. Uh, so there are some proposed procedures uh, for treatment of certain diseases, such as type 1 diabetes, uh, where you want to, you want to transport um, healthy cells uh, from like a donor into a patient uh, who has the disease. Uh, traditionally, if you do this, you had to uh, first treat the patient with an Im immunosuppressant drug, so something that makes the person's immune system weak, uh, so that the immune system won't attack the new cells. Right? Uh, so a proposed mechanism to, to overcome immunosuppression, or, or to avoid immunosuppression, is to protect the cells with a coating layer before you uh, transplant it into a person. And so how to protect cells with a coating layer is not an easy problem because these cells are very small. There are several microns in size. Right? So um, that's kind of the long-term goal of uh, our research area. Um, but uh, the fundamental questions are really in fluid mechanics. It's really a fluid mechanics problem. Over the summer, I tested out the properties of water and oil and how they behave in microchannels. As an undergrad student, I had an amazing experience working in a lab during this summer. So I encourage every undergrad student to contact any professor within their engineering discipline to apply for any position available. Um, I think to be successful as an engineering undergraduate student, you have to be willing to ask questions uh, rather than just taking you know, the lecture material at face value you should ask questions like, you know, why is the functional form of this equation the way it is? Where does it come from? You know, what are the physics behind the equations that you, know, you learn? Um, and what happens, for example, as one variable goes to zero or when it goes to infinity? You know, what are the effects? What, what happens? Right? Really ask those questions so that you get, gain a deeper understanding of the physical problems that you encounter. With respect to what I think about Ryerson five years from now, um, I think we're in a period of tremendous growth. Um, for example, uh, many of the faculty members that have been newly hired are highly uh, research focused. And um, I think there's a lot of room for us to grow still, um, but I think we're uh, going to be aiming to be uh, one of the better research universities in Canada uh, in the next five years.